blood is one of the most essential fluids of our body that helps in its smooth functioning. If the body loses blood in excessive amounts, people get deadly diseases and even die. Thus, we see how blood donation is literally life-saving. One such international organization that helps people who are suffering because of a war or a natural disaster is Red Cross. Born of a desire to bring assistance without discrimination to the wounded on the battlefield endeavors in its national and international capacity to prevent and alleviate human suffering wherever it may be found. Clarissa Harlow Barton is one of the most honored women in American history. She risked her life to bring supplies and support to soldiers in the field during the Civil War. She founded the American Red Cross in 1881 and led it for the next 23 years. Red Cross had many blood donation wards for the citizens to donate blood for them who were in need. Today, we will be making you aware about a miraculous way by which you can shower the gift of this beautiful life to someone by narrating a heartwarming story of a divorcee pregnant woman. Back in the day, there lived a woman named Atul. Down on her luck, she got separated from her husband. And being more unfortunate on her side, her in-laws were biased towards their son and accused her for being the reason for not keeping their relationship going. Suddenly, she lost a partner for life and was unemployed. Things became worse when after three months she found out she was pregnant. But for a secure future for her baby, she needed money. So she started making pots, dishes and other articles made of fired clay and went to the market to sell the goods she made. When she was arranging her potteries on the ground, a kind woodsmith approached her and told her to come to him if she needed any help. People slowly started recognizing her and bad-mouthing her as they assumed that her husband has left her because she had an affair with the man from the city. It was dusk but nothing sold out. She had no money in hand and was devastated. Weeks passed by but nothing changed and she realized her conditions are not going to get better. So, she went to her parents' house and cried her heart out. Her mother's heart sank in grief as she heard her daughter's misery. Her parents convinced her to stay with them until the baby is born and find some work by then if she really wants to be independent. Eight and a half months passed by. Achal moved on and was soon to find a job in the nearby town. Suddenly, Achal started screaming out of pain as she went into labor. Her parents immediately took her to the hospital. After hearing this, Achal asked the doctor if she could donate blood for her baby.
Atal's parents assured her that they will convince someone to donate their blood for the baby. They went from door to door, but no one was ready to donate. The doctor wanted to help, but unfortunately, her blood group was not as sane as the baby. A man was lying on the bench outside the ward. Unintentionally, he overheard their conversation and said, The moment the man entered the ward, none of them could believe what they saw because the man was none other than the little girl's biological father who had cut off ties with Achul in the past. The above story depicts the mentality of some people even in the 21st century. It is not just in the rural areas but even in the urban cities and towns people still tend to believe that if a couple separates, the woman is at fault and spread rumors and demoralize her. The story also tells us that how important the blood banks are. If the government can develop infrastructures like malls and parks in every city, then they should also take the responsibility to construct blood banks in every city, every village of the country. Shopkeepers selling liquor are given license, but does anyone really think about those people? died because they had no blood bank in their area. It moreover sounds like death is more important than life. Imagine if the conversation in the story was not overheard or if the man was also not ready to donate his blood. What would have happened to the little child? Your droplets of blood may create an ocean of happiness.
will share this information to many and in return save lives of many.